And looking back on this channel, I realize I've made quite a lot of jewelry. Hair clips, rings, bracelets, but I don't think I've made any necklaces. This is a hair clip that I made. Uh, I did this in collaboration with Carl Jacobson, and one of the many things that he uses as a medium is paint. It's actually called Fordite, and he sent me out some chips, and they just looked really neat in the resin. But what I didn't show you was in addition to these shavings, Carl actually sent me out a number of pieces of these blocks of paint. This can be called a number of things. Motor agate, Detroit agate, Fordite, it is basically automotive paint. Picture a couple of metal racks. You've just sprayed your paint and then it kind of drips and you do that every day for years and years and years and you get these cool layers of paint. Because of the type of paint it hardens but it is actually something that is machinable on woodworking tools. I've got this piece here which is probably the smallest of the four and I think it might be a good shape or a pendant. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to make a pendant out of paint. It's not quite flat so I'm just gonna flatten it quickly on the belt sander. All right, and I think we can already see what we're gonna be treated to here when this is complete. You can see the number of different layers that are exposed here. So it's thicker in some spaces and thinner in others. So even though it looks uniform here on this side, once we turn it down, it should be pretty interesting. And you can see the circles will help me to get it roughly in the middle. So in order to adhere that, all I'm gonna use is some double stick tape. If you don't have double stick turning tape, um, hot glue works really well. I would recommend hot Just glue. Put a little pressure on it and make sure it sticks we well. Okay, um, hot glue. A good, a good amount, probably, um, covering up about two-thirds of the underside of this with hot glue. And it feels very secure. Where's my face shield? And let's try it again. Paint shaving just went up my nose. Hilarious. All right, let's see how we're looking. Woo! And it's smooth. It's really smooth. It's actually really interesting looking. And I'm going to use the heat gun directly on my scraper here, on my thingamajog. I don't know what a heat gun does to um, Detroit agate, but just a little heat on the tip of the... There we go. And as you can see, the glue just peels right off. So let me show you what we're gonna do next. And we're gonna drill a 3 eighths of an inch hole. You could leave it like this. It is a very pretty pendant, but um, I'm gonna show you how to clean up this hole at the lathe to make it a bit more interesting looking. Remember all these circles that we made? All we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hole that we just made and we're gonna line that up with the middle circle. And I'm just pressing that down, waiting for the hot glue to cool and harden. Okay, now we can go back to the lathe. All we're gonna do is take our detail gouge and just kinda round out that hole. Oh, I've lost my face shield again. Probably with the pencil. You wanna sell more pieces at a craft show? You wanna impress your friends and neighbors? This is how you do it. the bevel. 
I don't want to mess it up at the very last bit here. Unbelievable. So it's funny, I actually had my arms wrapped around the camera at that point and was turning with you right in the middle. So I got a catch, I moved my tool in a weird way and it caught and broke that off. But me and my best friend Super Glue here um, got it back and it's just got a little hairline fracture there. And I've just been doing a little hand sanding to try to blend it all back together. So there's, there's, a, there's a lesson there. Don't say famous last words. I'm going to do a little bit more sanding just to get all these areas well blended and then we'll hit it with some finish. And given the fact this is paint, you really do need to add some kind of a finish to it or it will rub off. So I'm just using a little wipe on polyurethane. I'll let that dry and then do another couple coats. The last thing to do is simply to get a cord for it. It's just a leather cord for it and you just tie it on there. And at the end of the cord I've got some hardware that allows you to clasp it together. And this is, this is 100% paint. There's no other material in there. It's a hard material. Uh, it's not brittle. Unless you get a catch. <laughs> and these pendants are really easy to make. You can make them out of wood. You can make them out of unusual materials. If you remember, I made a milliput ring a while back. And that would also make a good pendant. So again, I want to thank Carl Jacobson for sending me this box, this care package, uh, three, three years ago? Uh, December of 2014. So it's been a while. I almost forgot that I had it. Um, but I do have some other pieces that I could be... Uh, I just don't know. They're odd shapes, so I'm not really sure. I'm sure we can come up with something to make out of these, because it really is interesting material. If you want to see more Fordite, more paint turning videos, I will direct you to Carl Jacobson's channel. He's made pens, he made a bracelet, um, a spin top, uh, lots of paint projects. Carl's got a lot of paint projects. I have a more intricate project that's on my bench right now, which is going to take me at least a couple more weeks to finish um, as soon as I finish editing this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.